So as the resident zombie expert here on the channel, I was quite intrigued when I heard about a new Walking Dead game from Activision based on the show. Well, intrigued and full of hesitance. But now that the game is here, we see if the Walking Dead survival instinct follows in the footsteps of the successful Telltale Walking Dead game, or if it just leaves us feeling, well, dead on the inside. You got something. Thanks. Survival Instinct plays as a prequel to The Walking Dead TV show where you play as Daryl, everyone's favorite character from the show. Now I know a lot of people are bashing this game out on the internet, but I'm going to be as fair as possible and go into this game with no expectations. Let's first look at the positives this game brought to the table. A big plus to this game is that they got some of the original cast to reprise their roles. So Michael Rooker is in there voicing Merle, and the guy who played the Irish dude in Boondock Saints is voicing his character from the show as well, so that's pretty awesome. Secondly, I was worried about having a first person shooter Walking Dead game. I didn't feel that's what this franchise was about. But really, the first part of this game is much more about stealth than running around shooting zombies. Finding the right path so you don't disturb a herd of zombies, and just grabbing the attention of one zombie at a time and luring him away from the group to stab his brains out. Next up is that the game is generally terrifying, or at least startling. There are a good number of jump scares in this game. You may be walking around an office room, you hear a zombie, but you can't see him yet. Then you turn a corner and BAM, you're grappling with the zombie. You also have to be careful shooting a gun because out of nowhere may come a huge swarm of zombies that you won't be able to stabilize against. And right there is the biggest fear of slow moving zombies. This is why they're terrifying because out of nowhere you're just cornered and have nowhere to run to. In fact, I got so scared playing this game, I actually had to record myself playing it and screaming like a little girl here and there, and I'm actually gonna have that on my personal channel so you can check out that video later. Honestly, in the beginning, I was really enjoying the game, but then I kept playing and found quite a few negatives. First off is the obvious. This game's graphics just look dated. The talking animation feels like it's from a game released years ago. Honestly, at times it looked like I was looking at a beta footage of the game, really if anything. My biggest gripe with this game is the Walking Dead franchise is about humans and the relationships and surviving each other. The zombies are just an exterior issue everyone is dealing with. In the game, you can pick up other survivors and send them out to do, to, you know, look for food or supplies. But because there was no real interaction with these other characters, I didn't mind just sending them out and not caring if they die. As long as I got my supplies, that's all that mattered to me. A big complaint that I have to side with is that this game just gets repetitive. There's very little story or progression of said story. Plus, while traveling on the map to new locations, you can scavenge random areas that pop up for more supplies and ammo and fuel, but all too often the maps were just reused over and over. There was one gas station map, one suburban area map, and one campsite. So each stop I was literally just doing the same thing over and over. The level design in this game came off as, I'm gonna say, lazy. The same goes for the zombies. I was fighting the same five zombies the entire game. Like, I didn't know everyone had like 500,000 twins in, in this world. It, I don't know. I just got bored and eventually near the end would just run around with an ax, just killing everything, trying to progress forward. I know that sounds cool and all, but that, it becomes lackluster pretty quick. I'd also like to touch on all the bugs in this game. This game had, well, I'm calling a secondary game in it. I like to call bug or dumb zombies. Sometimes a group of zombies would just congregate around one spot, fixated there for no reason, allowing me to just walk by. Or at the very end of the game, when I was trying to fight off a herd of zombies, I admit I kept dying until I just stood far enough off to the side where I could just mow them down with a gun while their attention was elsewhere. So is it bad AI or are they just dumb zombies? This game really had a lot of potential. For example, I wish I could have used my flashlight as a way to catch the attention of zombies to lure them away from a crowd or even be able to knock on a wall or call to a zombie, but no. Plus, I think this game could have been a great co-op game, using one person as bait to lure zombies away while the other could sneak in unnoticed and collect all the items or whatnot. 
Honestly, this game couldn't have done so well, but instead came off, again, lazy. I wanted to enjoy this game, but it just came off as mm, meh. But for all the good that was in this game and the fact that I did scream like a little girl many, many times, I give Walking Dead Survival Instinct six zombie heads out of ten. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.